When I'm out with a tractor doing some work and I want it to, uh, to apply uh, some revs for me, is I can go into the, uh, into the TMS uh, page and I end up then with this uh, with this slider uh, down here, so I can say as to what I want the uh, the minimum amount of revs to be, and what I want the uh, the maximum amount of revs to be. Now, if I was say for argument, say it's out uh, out in the field, and I was uh, I was ploughing, is we can usually end up with a situation that as you're turning on the headland, you'll be using relatively low revs, and as soon as you drop the plough into the ground, that tractor will have that that split second moment where it almost comes to a, comes to a standstill, then goes, oh, I've got a bit of work on, the engine revs come up, and uh, and off you go. Now I could overcome that by uh, by utilising this. So in this in this scenario, then if I was ploughing and I and the tractor spent the bulk of its time, say uh, you know around you know 1500 rpm or, or higher, is I would look to just to set the uh, maybe set the the the, uh, the minimum engine revs then to be uh, a little bit uh, below uh, where I'd ordinarily be uh, be ploughing at uh, most of the time, and then I can just set my uh, my upper revs just to be up at the uh, the maximum. But what that just means then is in this scenario then if I because uh, I've got the plow on the uh, on the linkage is as soon then as I drop the, uh, the linkage we can hear the tractor rev picking up on there and once the plows into the ground the uh, the transmission would be uh, would be taking over uh, on there and uh, and and, and we go back to our normal uh, normal revs uh, for uh, for that one. But I can also, it's not just then the linkage, I could also set it that as soon as I start to move forwards it would uh, rev up to the, uh, the minimum if we were automatically, if we were below there um, in what we're, uh, what we're doing. Same again with the, uh, as soon as I touch a hydraulic valve or if I had a front loader on, again this would, uh, as soon as I operate the loader I would get some, uh, some pre-revs coming on there. I can activate it then for the PTO. There, then I might want to be altering my uh, my maximum because I obviously don't want my PTO to uh, to overspeed uh, in there. And again, I could have it uh, assigned on the very last button. Then that uh, when I operate the uh, switch the PTO on from the uh, from the rear fender. Again, is I might not want to be at uh, maximum PTO speed because, say, for instance, I'm filling a uh, filling a sprayer up. Uh, on there is I could uh, alter and set a, a slightly different uh, uh, rev range then that uh, I've got some revs going on as soon as I activate the uh, the PTO from the uh, from the rear fender.